Philadelphia abortionist Kermit Gosnell is serving life in prison for first-degree murder and involuntary manslaughter. It was a heinous case that barely saw national media attention. But for one journalist, covering the case was the unexpected start of a pro-life journey. Fela McAleer is an Irish journalist and filmmaker who's covered topics ranging from finance to fracking. You think it's appropriate to... Okay, credit. that's it. He's a roving reporter even on vacation, which is why a few years back, McAleer decided to pop into a Philadelphia court case during time off. The case involved abortionist Kermit Gosnell, who was on trial for killing babies born alive after failed abortion attempts. It was the witnesses who were giving the most shocking evidence I'd ever heard. But the most shocking thing was behind me, because I looked behind and it was empty. There wasn't, there were no journalists. McAleer quickly realized Gosnell was a national story, barely getting local media coverage. So he told his wife and fellow journalist, Ann McElhaney, they should look into it. McElhaney hesitated. She didn't think they should touch the pro-life cause. As journalists, we always have a skeptical view of activists anyway. Uh, so we, we thought they were just activists being activists and exaggerating and, and trying to get a point across by overemphasizing something. And uh, we, so let me tell you, we were wrong. The pair spotted hypocrisy when an abortionist who is compliant with the law was put on the stand. What happens if the baby is born alive? Because that was a big thing about Kermit Gosnell killing babies born alive. And she said, well, we would give it comfort care. And you could see all these journalists going, comfort care, what's that? And, uh, and then she explained what comfort care was, that you put the baby aside, keep it warm, and it will die naturally. And it's like, so hold on, this guy has been charged with stabbing babies born alive, but it's legal in this country, in this state, to let a baby born alive die of neglect and dehydration. Awoken to the abortion industry's deceit, McAleer and McElhaney took on an ambitious mission. They started a crowdfunding campaign to create a movie about Kermit Gosnell. With your help, we're going to hire the best screenwriter, director, and actors to make sure that the story of Kermit Gosnell gets into every home in America. The campaign raised more than $2 million, the most for a movie project in Indiegogo's history. The filmmakers plan to release the Gosnell movie as an independent theatrical release this fall because they're struggling to get a distributor. Hollywood said it was too controversial for it, uh, which is a complete joke because Hollywood releases pro-abortion movies all the time. The married pair of investigative journalists also recently released a book. Gosnell, the untold story of America's most prolific serial killer. The mainstream media have ignored the book altogether, completely, 100%. And uh, the book went straight into Amazon bestsellers. As with all his projects, McAleer is clear. He is not an activist. He is a journalist. It's not my job to change the conversation, right? But it's my job that people have the truth 